We have a wide variety of celebrity perfumes here. We have perfumes from Sabrina Carpenter to Ariana Grande to Hailey Kyoko, Paris Hilton, and Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish! I've been dying, dying to smell this. These perfume bottles are getting creative. Stop! What is this? These look like Ariana Grande aesthetic. The one thing I will say, but I kind of love, and I don't know if this was intentional, is it looks like a sponsored by Lilo. <gasps> I wanna hear you say it. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm Nikki and I'm Gabby and today we are going to be reviewing, reviewing rating, rating, and roasting celebrity fragrances. You know, I feel like in the last few years there's been a pipeline of celebrity turned makeup connoisseur, makeup line. However, something that's been going on longer than that has been the pipeline of celebrity having a celebrity fragrance. As perfume consumers, we know how hard it is to buy a perfume because you do not know what it smells like. You'll see them promoted. Like for example, I saw Billie Eilish promoting a perfume and I was like, oh my God, that looks so cool. But how do you really promote a perfume? You can't smell it through the camera. We're gonna give you guys like the real tea. We're gonna say what they're supposed to smell like, the description, and then we're gonna say what they really smell like, and if the price is really worth it or not. I wanna hear you say it. This video is in a paid collaboration with one of our favorite perfume companies, Dossier. This is so exciting. As you guys can see, we have a Dossier candle lit right here called Floral Marshmallow. And if you guys aren't familiar with Dossier, they're basically perfumes that are at the quality of these celebrity perfumes, except they're for a fraction less. So they're keeping the high-end quality, but cutting out the unnecessary expenses and the obvious brand tax. These are reproduced versions of classic luxury perfumes. I actually picked these out, so Nikki's gonna be smelling them for the first time. Something really cool about this brand is that they have a risk-free system, which means that customers are able to actually try the perfumes before committing to them. Let's rate and review these real quick. Ambery Cherry. I'm not a cherry person, so I'm interested. Right near you. I never thought I'd say this, but like, how did they make cherry so sexy? $39. Smells identical. Gourmand patchouli. Sexy. That is so hot. This is expensive. This is like you're walking into the Burberry store. I don't know, okay, already these are tied. Gourmand white flowers. Oh my God. I'm like obsessed with that. This is giving a Nikki everyday perfume. I was going to buy you Victor and Rolf flower bomb for our birthday gift exchange. I saved myself like $200. Okay, let's see if this one, spicy vanilla. You have me at a chokehold. Mm. This is giving unisex. So that's supposed to be inspired by Tom Ford's noir. 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 Like an old film or something? Yes, it's, it smells like an old film. Gourmand White Flowers is number one. That's my day-to-day -day perfume. My order is Amber Cherry, then the Gourmand White Flowers, then the Spicy Vanilla. Yay. Yay. This is so good. Also, free returns and exchanges for forever, plus great bulk deals on the website. And you guys can shop these perfumes with a link down below in our description box. You could get up to 25% off discount for three plus bottles with free shipping. They're always adding new scents to the collections and to the website, and they're always taking recommendation and ideas from the customers. So make sure to suggest a certain fragrance that's not added to their inspo library if you guys follow them on Instagram, or if you guys just wanna leave a customer review. For whatever reason, if you don't like the scent of your perfume, you have a 30 day return period and you can send send back an unsealed 50 ml dossier perfume bottle and you can get your money back. Any of these perfumes is $39, whereas luxury or high-end perfumes go for 50 to $280 plus. We're about to smell a bunch of other perfumes, so let's get into the video. We have a wide variety of celebrity perfumes here. We have perfumes from Sabrina Carpenter to Ariana Grande to Hailey Kyoko. From Paris Hilton to Gabby DiMartino and Billie Eilish. These look like Ariana Grande aesthetic. So is this it? Yes. I knew it. She's like this galactic 60s mod. Yes. Look, it's so interesting. I love it. But the one thing I will say, but I kind of love, and I don't know if this was intentional, is it looks like a sponsored by Lilo. <gasps> oh my God. Low-key slay? That, no, I love, I don't know if that was the intention, but I love that for these. Like, I really do. So Okay. This is sold at Ulta for $68? Mm-hmm. Okay, this better be like the best smelling perfume I've ever smelled. 
It doesn't smell like vanilla. It smells like vanilla. Maybe this will make it smell like vanilla. Maybe this is fruitier. That is definitely fruitier. Oh, okay. This smells like Candyland. See, I like that one better than this one ever. I'm a vanilla girl, but I like Yeah, I like blush this better. Colors. I like blush better. It's giving me like Victoria's Secret vibes. This oh, this one. does smell like something that would be sold in Victoria's Secret during the most iconic Victoria's Secret years. So what are you gonna rate these? My review is that this doesn't smell like vanilla, but it smells expensive and that it smells fresh. I rate this a seven only because I don't think I would pay $68 for it, but it's really a good perfume. As being an Ariana fan myself, I, I love her other fragrances. I love all of them. It's definitely softer. It's more mature than all the others. My rating is an eight for Mod Vanilla. I rate this a nine out of 10 for sure. Again, I just take away a point because it's like, almost $70. I'm gonna give this a 10. It doesn't smell like anything else that I've smelled before, but it definitely would fit in that like flirty fun category. This is a 10. Everyday wow. fragrance. All right, next perfume is Sabrina Carpenter. She's been slaying lately. Like, yeah, and like I loved her promos for this perfume. I love that she did a perfume. She's actually from our hometown, so like seeing like she was doing a perfume, I was like, yeah. I'm on a mission to make everybody in this world smell like a candy shop. So. Honestly, she's a girl's girl. She knows what the girls be wanting, even through her lyrics. So I'm excited to try this. Without further ado, let's smell this candy bar. This is only $30 at Walmart. And I love that it comes like with the little lip gloss. Comes with a lip gloss? Yeah. She is a girl's girl. Mmm. It's definitely subtle. I'm smelling sweetness, but also some like sandalwood. Like I'm wood. smelling coconut. It's cozy, basically. I want to say this is very light. So if, if you guys don't like a strong smell, this is a perfect like everyday perfume for you. I give this a seven out of 10. My review is that this smells like white chocolate <gasps> mixed with like eggnog, but you have to like really, really like try to smell it. So I give this a five. I love the way this smells, but if it was just stronger, I would give this a this, I would give this a 10. The whole thing was very thought out. I think it's a beautiful set. It's a great gift. Okay, so the next perfume I'm excited for Gabby to try is my everyday perfume. I actually have smelled this before, but I'm excited to review it for the channel. Okay, I didn't know you smelled it before. Yes. Oh my gosh, this smells expensive. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so good. This that is, is so like, good. this is better than some designer perfumes. This is better than some YSL. It looks like a designer perfume. It's a glass bottle. There's a gold plaque, there's engravings, there's actual like real metal and glass. Hue is $50 at Walmart. Stop. I give this $50. This smells like it's $400. I give this a 10 out of 10. There's absolutely no roasting here. I give this a 10 out of 10 as well. This is so far winning. This is amazing. It smells like if someone I was, you know, hooking up with smelled like this, I would want more. So it's a hot scent. I don't know how yeah, else to describe hot. it. Okay, next scent we have is by Billie Eilish. This Ooh. is, oh, only $52 at Ulta. I thought it was gonna be like 100 or something. Okay, this looks like a trophy. Is that is that her actual silhouette? Let me see. That's hot. It's crazy to see her evolution going from covering her body to actually owning it. Feels like it's so heavy. It's really good quality. It's like, oh my God. it's like a paperweight. Stop! She has oh, like, oh, I'm energy. hungry. Hungry? I want ice cream right now. Oh, not what I expected. What the fuck? Oh man. What is this? Gabby, tell them what you just said to me. It smells like Abuela's bedroom. Our Abuela loved fragrances and this smells like something she would obviously have in her bedroom. It smells like a little vintage. I think that's the point of it. Now looking at this, it's very like old Hollywood. Where do you get it? I don't know if I, I wouldn't wear this every day. I would wear this to like red carpets. Yeah. So I, Give this an eight out of 10. Uniqueness, A plus, stands out. Love the bottle. Gonna give this an eight out of 10 as well. The only negative thing I could say about this, and I don't even wanna say anything negative because it's such a great fragrance and display and everything, is that I feel like it takes a particular person to like this. Like I feel like not everybody would love it. Good for her for doing something different because so far the perfumes we've smelled, the girlies love vanilla. Okay, next fragrance is the one, the only, iconic. Paris Hilton. What are you asking me? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta give you that good of an intro. I was looking at the bodice in my closet. Dress me up in my cottage. If you know, you know. Catch me in lingerie, a summer day. Come to play in my cottage. 
Fun fact, I love this so much because I met Paris for the first time at her um, Gold Rush launch party in LA and we've stayed in touch ever since and she actually sent me this for Christmas. And guys, when we say she's the sweetest celebrity you'll ever meet, she's a doll. I was so awkward. Her and Gabby hit it off by default because I'm Gabby's twin. She went and followed me too. And I was like, oh shit, she's, a, she's nice. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Gabriella DeMartino. I met her on your music video set and she was just talking to me about how growing up with pets and her pet goat and she's so personable and I'm like such a lovely person. I yeah. Love I love this is based off of her wedding. If you guys don't know, it's like a oh, wedding dress. Oh, and she got actually she got married. She's a baby. Like she is all good things coming to her and she deserves it. Whoa. It's beachy, it's floral. It smells like a wedding bouquet mixed it's, with sandalwood. If I picture like what a princess smells like, it's Love Rush. I love this. I don't normally wear florals, but if I was going to pick a floral, it'd be this, because I've never mm -hmm. smelled anything so yummy and nostalgic. I smell it and I'm happy. I'm gonna give her a 10 out of 10. Queen deserves it. My review is that it smells like you got married on a beach. Really happy elements. It does smell like a big ball of smiles, as cheesy as it sounds. So it I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10 because it is like, it does the work of like essential oils. It just like really uplifts your spirits. Also, the bottle is stunning. And if you guys love to decorate your makeup vanities, the beautiful bottle to have. So yeah, A plus. Okay, last but not least, drum roll, the iconic. Perfume connoisseur, one and only, beautiful mess, perfume. I have the audience is probably like, yeah, we get it. I have <laughs> never smelled this perfume. It smells like Candyland. It smells like pistachios, macaroons. Beautiful mess. I wonder if it does smell messy or if it's just beautiful. The bottle is giving an old school 50s bottle you'd see sitting on like a 50s vanity. Yeah, that's what I was going for and then I did a gumball for the top. Yeah, it's very satisfying. It's like, I blew a bubble. <laughs> I'm loving this review. I love how it's like, you look through it and it's like glass, it's like prism-y. This doesn't smell like anything on the table and I'm not just saying that. So good for you for not just being a vanilla, a vanilla girly or an almond girly. It does smell different. I think this is the stronger, the stronger youthful version of this. Oh, I love my perfume. I'm so proud still because I am working on another fragrance. This fragrance is now 40% off with code Gabby birthday. Even if it's past our birthday, that code's gonna be running for a little bit. If I'm gonna compare this to all the girly girly scents I smelled today, I, this would be my favorite. Yay. That's it for this video. Again, thank you to our sponsors, Dossier, for sponsoring this video. And be sure to subscribe, press the bell. We upload weekly and maybe more this summer on this channel. So be sure you guys are always notified by doing that. Also, fun fact, me and Gabby have been active Snapchatters. We are actually daily vlogging on Snapchat because, you know, we've been doing YouTube 10 years and we just wanted something fresh and new with a new audience and a new set of eyes. So we're trying that and we're actually having a lot of fun. We literally post 24 seven of every day. We're in each other's Snap stories. We love you guys so much. We're so grateful for you guys always for supporting our channel. And, and we'll see you guys yeah. in our next video. Bye. Bye. Mwah.